What do the Ohio Bobcats and Bowling Green State Falcons have in common? Well, besides the fact that they're going to be squaring off right here at Peden Stadium next Wednesday, both of these teams picked up their last win against the Eastern Michigan Eagles. The Bowling Green State Falcons will be carrying their five-game winning streak in the Peden Stadium in hopes of upsetting the 8-1 Ohio Bobcats. After taking a quick look at the stat sheet, it's plain to see that the Bobcats will need to bring their A game against Bowling Green. The Falcons have allowed just 15.2 points per game on defense. That's 11th in all of the FBS. And during their five-game winning streak that they carry into this Wednesday matchup, they've allowed just 6.6 .6 points per game. The Falcon defense is led by senior defensive lineman Chris Jones, who has already registered 11 and a half sacks. Offensively, the Falcons boast an effective quarterback in Matt Schultz. For Ohio, free safety Gerald Moore saw plenty of snaps against Eastern Michigan. That's a good sign. And the defensive line was spectacular, led by Carl Jones. And probably the worst news coming out of Thursday's game against Eastern Michigan was the season-ending injury to Landon Smith. The sophomore receiver injured his right ankle, and head coach Frank Solich said after the game that surgery will be required on Smith's ankle, so it sounds like he will not be back for the remainder of the season. On the BG side, they will certainly have to look out for number four, Tyler Tettleton. He rebounded in a big way coming off that loss to Miami, tossing three touchdown passes against Eastern Michigan. Tettleton has found his groove yet again, and it will be intriguing to see how the Falcons plan on stopping him. Kickoff for this middle of the week showdown will take place at 8 p.m. It will be broadcast on ESPN2, and oh yeah, it will also be a Bobcat blackout. That's all I have from Peden Stadium reporting for the Bobcat Sports Showcase. I'm Pat Chiesa.